Sometimes you've just got to commit, whether that be committing, getting out of bed early or committing to drive up a hill, and sometimes it can have its just rewards. And on today's trip, I certainly got them. Although it wasn't the first commitment that gave me these rewards, that was a bit of a disappointment. If anything, this is a tale of two halves. And it all started after work on a Friday evening. And the dogs were with us, as you can hear. They were quite excited. And those of you who have been up this this road will know exactly where I am. And we were heading up in the camper van for a wee, a wee break. And what I was looking forward to was a walk with the dogs and my wife to try and capture what could be a stunning sunset from the top of a mountain. Anyway, after a bit of our driving, we are reached our destination for the evening and our base camp for our hill walking. Oh, what a wonderful evening it is. And I've got some company with me. That's the first clue of what my company is. And uh, we're hoping to get to a, a summit before sunset. I think we'll be quite fine, but I'll spin you around so you can see where we're going and who I'm with. Oh, right, here we are. I'm here with the Dugs and the boss. <laughs> As you can see, she's not got a microphone on. She's, she's not wanting to be in the video. Um, so here's the hill behind us that we're hoping to get up. I have been up this hill twice before. I think both times it was mega windy. I mean, it was like hard to stand up windy uh, when I was on the top there. So I know there's a Land Rover track so far and from memory it gets a bit boggy. But anyway, we've got a few, um, We've got about three or three and a half hours before sunset, so we'll be up there well before. We might, we might not even be up there for sunset, but we're just going to take our time and, um, yeah, just enjoy it. It almost feels like summer. <laughs> right, I'll report back in a wee while. Right, hopefully you can see me. We're going to stop here and have a bite to eat uh, for some tea it's about 7 o'clock, 6.37ish and Leanne got me some scotch eggs so scotch eggs and a can of coke and then you're going to go back aren't you? Yeah. and I'm going to go to the top so I'm going to stop here and get a bite to eat tea as I said is a scotch egg and a can of coke and these are Morrison's scotch eggs so let's see how they compare to Tesco's it's actually not bad <laughs> I was just saying to the boss that I wasn't that impressed the last time I had Morrison's Scotch eggs, but they're not bad. The real test will be if the dogs eat it. Mm, yeah, he's munching it down. What do you think, Alexi? What do you think? Oh! Yeah. She likes it. Now, ah, you know about fell down there, eh? Where'd it go? <laughs> right, so the dogs are still sniffing about to see if there's any Scotch eggs left. They did get a bit by the way. Right, you're heading back. She's a bit of chill in the van and I'm away to go up a mountain. Hey right, Lex, we're going this way. Right, I'll let you go first and I'll go up this way. This way. Right. This way, Sam. See you in a well. Ta da! Right, getting a bit higher up now. It's getting a bit colder actually. I think when I get up into the summit ridge, I might have to put a layer on. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of. Um, Avoiding the temptation to do that at the moment because it is quite steep and I'm generating a quite a lot of heat myself So yeah, you can see I'm gaining height and uh, I think one thing that's quite interesting that I've noticed is um, I've got the OS maps and the Harvey maps um, Downloaded onto my mapping software, but this path and there's definitely a path here It's not the greatest of paths, but it's not on the OS map, but it's on the software's own mapping so it just shows you there's, there's slight differences between the different maps. I suppose it just depends when they're updated and what they constitute and um, recognise as a path. So just one, one to, to watch out for. Anyway, I think I'm about five, 550 and this mountain summit is just below 800. So still a bit to go. Right, come on you. <laughs> I'll spin you around and show you where I am and where I'm going. Oh, there's a wee gate here. I can see, I think, two paths. <laughs> I think I can remember coming down this shoulder here. I'm sure 
one of the two times I've been up here before and it's a lovely view down the loch so I think I'm going to actually head up this way and if I can find the path on the way down I'll maybe come down this ridge make a wee loop of it but I'm quite keen to get up onto the uh, onto this ridge line here to get the view so that's what I've decided Right Alex, let's go You get up Oh Oh, not a bad viewpoint in this, is it? <laughs> it's lovely Right, I'm almost, well, a bit higher up anyway <laughs> Funnily enough But it's getting a wee bit chilly now So I'm going to get my buff on And uh, mid layer on um, Before heading to the top I've got about an hour until sunset It's a bit cloudier than forecast You know what that might mean? That might mean we might get an inversion In the morning if this cloud lowers I've not actually checked the mountain weather information Service uh, app yet, so that's something to do. But anyway, right, let's get a jerk uh, layer on. Boldly bun it. Bit warmer. She's getting fed up waiting on me, aren't you? Come on, come on, let's go. Right then, let's go. Come on then. Ground's getting a wee bit more level now, there's a wee steep bit ahead of me and hopefully we should be able to see the summit Oh this is wonderful One of the advantages of coming up a hill which isn't a, a Munro although this, this is part of a route on the way back from a Munro on some circuits anyway I'll come on to that later but it's not, a, the top I'm going to isn't a designated Munro or a Corbett so it's nice and quiet, but I tell you what, you still get that sense of height and the views you'd get from any sort of well-known Munro Let me just spin you around and show you Because look at this <laughs> It's a very airy perch and it's certainly, you don't imagine this sort of um, exposure when you think about the hills in the Perthshire This is uh, Loch Turret, I don't even know if I said where I am um, Loch Turret down here and um, right on the edge here, and the thing about some of these hills and the eastern hills and the Cairngorms is yes, they are quite plateau-like on the, the tops but you get these deep clefts which drop down steeply like that to these lochs and glens, it's just magnificent What a spot this is Tell you what, this would be a good spot for a tent <laughs> Although there's no, there's no flat pitches that I've seen here, it's all heather and slopey ground, but uh, yeah, what a view Anyway, I'm going to shut up now we're not far, just up here is the summit so let's go and I'll report back on the top, top and I'll tell you which hill I'm on Ah, here we are The summit uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Karn Hoy, Karn Hoy, uh, C H O I S, so I do apologise. I've probably murdered it there. Anyway, it's um, 783 metres, it's a bit higher. And the clouds in the last kind of 50 metres. <laughs> that sods low for you, but it might, as I say, it might bode well for tomorrow. And if I was to continue along this ridge, I'd get to the Munro, which is called Ben Honzi. But I ain't going to do that because we're not far from sunset. I do have some, you know, as I said, I have been up here before, so if I've got some footage of the views that I had the last time I was here, I'll stick them on the, uh, the screen just now, but it's quite a lovely viewpoint. I seem to remember looking west to Ben Vorlich and Stuka Croin from here and down into the lovely village of Comrie. But hey ho, you win some, you lose some. I might get lucky tomorrow, but anyway, time for a pork pie. Somebody's going to be my best friend in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna get this out, right. I'll put my jacket on as well, it's now. Mm, she's already sneaked up round behind me, you probably can't see her. More, more coke, I forgot to bring my platypus. <laughs> I don't usually drink coke on the hill, I usually keep that for when I get back, but anyway. Some fluids, right. Seeing as I'm gonna be stopped for a while, I'll stick my jacket on. I must always also say I've got two head torches because any sunset hike, the chances are you'll be walking back down in the dark.
You doing it here? <laughs> well, it's going to be very good. Me and my best friend now. <laughs> Where's we going? Pork pie. I think Lexi like prefers Scotch eggs as well, because Scotch eggs really are the way forward. Mm. Do you like a wee bit? Spin? Spin? Yeah, it's a good girl. Right. Every now and again it's kind of clearing to the uh, to the north, over towards the Monroe, then Honsey or Benahee. Uh, the, the locals, I think, know it's Benahee. But uh, anyway, I, I've not really come too far. This is, I'm very lucky to stay quite close to the Highlands, but sometimes I sometimes feel like oh, I need to go to Glencoe or I need to go to Torridon to get my mountain fixed. But you don't if you're lucky enough to stay as close as, as I do. I've, I've come to the, this hill and it's quite a quiet hill. Um, sometimes you can, people will sometimes come back from Benahi this way and over the top and down, but that's not the most common route up it, so it's usually generally pretty quiet up here. So I've managed to get my mountain fix on a Friday evening, which is great. So I'm going to head back down to the van and um, have something <laughs> very unhealthy, and you'll probably know what it is for my... Um, for my tea, I think I've earned it. Even though I've had my scotch egg and my pork pie. And the dog seems to have enjoyed herself. Here, Lexi! Come on! Yeah. She's sniffing around. So, yeah, let's head back down. And uh, you can see what I'm going to have for my tea. <laughs> I think you might have already guessed. <laughs> so, the spectacular sunset from the mountain top didn't materialise and I... Headed down with my tail between my legs, back through the clag and down towards the van and before long I was nearly there crossing the dam which marks the start of the walk. And although I was slightly disappointed with the weather, I knew that I was going to be perked up in a wee while with the food that was awaiting me for my tea. I told you the birds. Oh, there it is. Right, we're um, back at the van. And we've just been sat outside listening to. I don't know if you can hear that. You think it's a peewee, don't you? There's definitely snipe, lots of snipe. And we saw an owl came really close to the, uh, to the van. But uh, anyway, we are going to retire and um, hit the hay soon. And we'll see what the morning brings. I might go for a hike in the morning if it's misty. But uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm talking quite quietly because there's other fans here, so yeah, I'm not going to do many more bits to camera. I'm going to hit the hay, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Right. Uh, good morning. It's about seven thirty. Not oh, Clay on my hand. It's about seven thirty, and I looked outside the window at five thirty, and everything was clear. There was a band of fog in the valley below, and then at seven thirty, I woke up and looked out, and it's a right pea super. So I've just zooted straight out of the van, no breakfast, glass of water <laughs> and I'm heading, I'm just coming up straight, straight up the nearest hill to see if I can get above the cloud um, It might be rising so it might, it might not happen but I'm just going to keep on going up and see yeah, see if we can get above the cloud so let's, uh, let's just barry on and <laughs> I'll report back in a wee while Right, let's go Right, quick update There may be hope, uh, spin your rounds just about see the silhouette of the sun. Still can't see any blue sky above me, that's usually the dead giveaway. You're still in the cloud, it gets lighter, you look above you and there's blue sky. That's for an inversion, getting above the temperature inversion and hence above the cloud. So let's keep going, I've still got plenty of ascent, which is a good thing. There's loads of times when I've got to the top of a mountain and I can't get any higher and I can see the inversion levels only a few, <laughs> a few meters above the summit, but uh, yeah, let's keep going and keep our uh, fingers crossed, they're very hard to predict um, where the level's going to be and hence if I'm going to get above the cloud in some nice pictures but onwards and upwards here there's lots of animal tracks through, there's been lots of burnt heather, the, the state's been managing this for the for the grouse um, so uh, it's not too bad, right, so let's, um, yeah, 
let's crack on and see if we can get above this uh, cloud. <laughs> right. <laughs> you probably sense a bit more chirpiness in my voice from looking pretty promising to looking almost inevitable. I don't know if you can see behind me or above me, there's now blue sky. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, there's also a fog bow behind me. Um, I don't know if it's picking it up or not. But yeah, I think I'm going to be popping out the cloud. In fact, I can see the, the path, eh, not the path, the, uh, the slopes going up that way. I'm actually heading towards a 4x4 track, so I think it'll get me up here quicker than following these animal tracks. But yeah, this is looking very, very promising. Right, let's go on and I'll report back in a wee while. Wow. What a place. Right, <laughs> as you can see, I'm now above the cloud. And the temperature inverse is probably just starting to rise with me, so I'm not gonna, hence why I'm doing all these handheld bits to camera. I'm not setting the tripod up to do too many, but it's glorious. I don't know if, I'll spin you around actually. You'll probably not be able to see it, but way down uh, on the horizon there, that's the uh, oak holes. And I'll come around, and this hill here, is where I was last night, Carn Hoy, and around we go. I am aiming for this top. There's a trig point there. I'll head up. The path goes up here. The track goes up here, and then up to King Kenneth's Cairn. Now, those of you who have watched the channel for a few years will have seen that I've camped up there before at King Kenneth's Cairn. And there's a wee cairn there, and I'll head down this skyline there. Wow, <laughs> I'm super happy though. <laughs> So good. I did kind of think this would happen um, when we were on the walk last night. It was quite cloudy. But yeah, let's head to the top and I'll chill out up there and I'll get the tripod out, I promise, as long as the cloud doesn't lift. But yeah, what, what a place, what a time to be here. Nothing beats a good inversion. Right, let's go. And every now and then, there's a great plume of fog or cloud that rises above the inversion and just envelops me. There's a wee bit just behind me there, I don't know if the camera's picking it out, but I tell you what, when that happens, it's lovely and cool. Just this plume of cool air. Right, onwards we go. So, up I went, and what a fabulous morning it was. There was hardly a breath of wind, and those views back down over the strath, over the sea of clouds, were just fantastic. We're almost, we're almost there. Probably can't see me, it must be a silhouette. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful morning though. And here we are at the big cairn. Now this isn't the, uh, the summit of the hill, summit of the hill's about over there somewhere, a few hundred metres, but it's, it's kind of one of these, as I said yesterday, a flat topped plateau and uh, this is certainly the best viewpoint. So I'm going to sit here and have my breakfast, of which there is nothing edible, just a, <laughs> a can of coke. I was that excited when I saw the mist. I just up and left the van this morning. Um, but I'm not too far away, I'll get back down within the hour, so I know what I'm having for breakfast and I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to have a can of coke here and just enjoy this wonderful position. What a place. Did the coke's tasting good. <laughs> coke Zero. And it's just, it's glorious, there's not much, there's a, there's a slight breeze on the uh, on the top here. L literally a slight breeze, um, but it's lovely. It's still early enough in the season that the, the bugs and the beasties aren't uh, too bad. There was a few midges got into the van last night, but nothing like it'll be in a, just in a few weeks' time. So really trying to make the most of it before they uh, come out and spoil things. But yeah, what a, what a great morning. And, I think this is the best place to be to see to get above the clouds today because to my south is the Strath and it's just covered in cloud and it's a bit lower down. Whereas the glens further north, the, I can see that the, the cloud hasn't infiltrated as far inland. So if I was further into the highlands, it probably wouldn't be as spectacular as it is at, at the moment. But I can see um, what's prominent. I can see Ben Vorlock, I can see Stuka Croin. I can see uh, Ben Moore and Stabinion, which you can see from nearly anywhere in the Southern, Hi <laughs> Southern Highlands. They're quite prominent um, double peaks. And then a bit further around, um, I can see Ben Laws and Anne Stook just poking over the, uh, the horizon there. 
and over, I think, I don't know whether that is for the north, that's one of the Cairngorms, but uh, it's just lovely, absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to finish my cloak and I'm going to drop down just a wee bit till, till I'm just above the clouds. I'm going to stop there before descending back down into the murk. Um, but I'll not be stopping too long because I'm quite hungry and I'm looking forward to my second <laughs> Lorne sausage and black pudding roll in 12 hours. So. <laughs> hey, we've got to treat ourselves every now and again and we do it when we're on our camps. So. Lovely. I suppose, I suppose, let's head down. Back towards the van. On the way up the hill, the sea of clouds had been behind me mainly, so the the way back down was actually more pleasant than the eye. It was just absolutely beautiful heading down the hill with this just sort of looked like never ending sea of clouds before me. What a fabulous, fabulous sight and what a fabulous, fabulous morning to be on the hill. Oh, right. Just about to drop back down under the cloud, unfortunately. But yeah, wonderful. I was thinking coming down there, I Again, this is an area I know well because it's quite close to home and I can come here and I can still, uh, although I've been up all these peaks around here a few times, it's been, it's probably been um, pro oh, a couple of years since I've been up on this side. So you can come, come to places again and again and just explore different areas and it, it always feels new. I mean, I've never been up this way when it, the conditions have been like this, so the conditions always make it feel different and um, had I been intent on kind of going up a new Corbett or what have you, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been able to do it because of the time frames. By the time I'd finished work last night, half five, six, got the van packed and away, there's no way I would have managed that wee hike last night and today would have been a, a full day, I'd have been tired, whereas I've got chores to do at the house, I need to paint to shed later on and I'm only half an hour from home here so it's it's ideal it's uh, and again like I mentioned last night I don't I never take it for granted I'm I'm really lucky to live so close to such wonderful countryside but uh, anyway right <laughs> that's my words of wisdom <laughs> enough enough nonsense Murray let's get down let's go and get some uh, let's go and get a fry up and descend back into a different world let's go I really wasn't wanting to descend back down the hill and into that clag, but it was quite refreshing. The temperature gradient was quite uh, significant from the, the warmer temperatures above the inversion to the nice, cool, damper temperatures underneath the cloud. Anyway, before long, I was back down the hill and heading towards the van and looking forward to yet another fry up. Hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right, you stay there. Stay. <laughs> then the pajamas. Take a look at that. <laughs> My god, wasn't expecting that. What a shame, Lexi. We the laughing stock. No wonder you're inside. I'd be embarrassed to come outside as well with that one. So the dogs made me promise not to video anything more of them in their ridiculous outfits that they've been made to wear. <laughs> so I'm afraid I didn't do much more filming, but the main reason was the clouds started to clear. And as you can see from some of these pictures, we uh, ended up going for a, a, a nice, easy walk um, on the flat in the opposite direction. It was just wonderful. Uh, but anyway, here's, here's some pictures and a wee slideshow to finish off the video. If you're still watching, thanks very much for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>